just pull it up into the um, the allotment. We'll be doing a little bit today. Look at it, it's overcast, look at that there. Um, it it will, probably will be a little bit as well, but yeah, just bet you, you bet you're all curious what's in the box. I'll fill you in when a bit later on. Um, been on City Airport car boot today, um, some Saturday it is. Uh, well, this video will be going up tomorrow, um, but I thought we'd slip this into the video. Uh, paid a fiver for that tin and everything what's inside it, which is an absolute result. Turn the engine on. I'm sure Buttercup will be waiting for me. It always is. I've never known her not to be. It gets me really worried if she ever did not turn up. But she'll be around here somewhere. Buddy. Lucifer, um, this is in my, my front garden, buddy. Where are you? What are you doing up there, eh? What are you doing up there? You're a naughty girl up there, aren't you? You see me coming, didn't you, eh? Eh? You're coming down. Come on, let me lift you down. Come on, I've got you. Woo! There you go. Come on, let's go and get your dinner. But she like, I've got to open, to take the bloody, flip the lock here. I've got a lock up here. We lock her in of a night. Obviously, we leave this door open so she can go in and out. And, uh, you know, I've got to find the right key. This is going to take some time. Let's hope it's this key. If it is, we'll crack it. If it isn't, all the joke. No, bloody isn't, isn't it? Now I've got to find the key. Got the one of them two there. There we go. There we go. So, the tomatoes. See you've had all your dinner. Right, give me a second. Right, I'm going to have to put the camera down there, guys, because I have to get the food out here. And uh, we'll get a, get a breakfast ready and we'll be right back. Hello and uh, welcome back to Allotment Diggers. Um, probably wondering where Buttercup is. She's around somewhere. She's been driving me nuts. Um, over the last couple of days we've been to a few car boots. So I'm going to put them into the video um, at the end I think. I'm going to show you what we've been wasting this money on. Did alright as well today. Three different car boots. I bought three different things. And uh, yesterday was at um, City Airport, it's basically Barton Airport, they just changed their name, they do that. Like here it used to be Old Hospital, now it's uh, Salford Royal. Changing names off of buildings and just to confuse the hell out of people uh, in Salford. In fact they've t took the art out of Salford, there's nothing left um, of the original Salford and it's all plastic and there's nothing of interest really, um, except for the allotments and um, it won't be long before they'll be doing something with this. <laughs> Hope not, but uh, you know, you never know. Anyway, um, as I was saying, we've been to the car boots, so I'll show you them later on in the video. Uh, but I come on early in the week, uh, you know, that heat wave where we had uh, two days of uh, scorching heat okay so it was a record 39 40 degrees centigrade what they're forgetting is back in the early 80s we had an heat wave then and we had temperatures 36 degrees for nearly a month this is only for the two days uh, we had this heat wave and um, it's not stopped raining after uh, ever since so when, when they say um, the climate's in peril. I say go outside and uh, look at the weather. And um, like I say, it's raining here. Um, nothing ever changes. Uh, it might just be this um, sulfur's a microcosm and um, nothing changes here. And everywhere else around the world changes. But I can tell you here, 
it's one minute it's sun shining, the next minute it's raining. Point in case this morning it was it was lovely and then it started raining. There you go. Anyway, away she comes. Don't you knock the camera. She's right underneath the camera. Where have you been? Hey? Eh? You covered me in airs, so you you you've not been that far. Alright, get on the knee. Be careful that knee hurts. I've got to, I've done something with my knee. So uh, yeah, let's let's get the video started and stop going on about the weather and everything else. Which is well, the weather's had a lot to to do with uh, what we've been doing this week because we've not been able to work outside. It's been either too hot or it's actually or it's been hammering it down. There has been um, periods in in amongst that where we've had uh, the lull before the storm, so to speak. And uh, we've got a few things done now. This area is where I have all my mates over and we all have a bit of a natter and a bit of a giggle. And I was looking, it looks really messy and untidy. The wood chip looks awful. So um, early in the week, Aaron, the wood chipper, dropped a load of really good wood chip off. So I went up and got a couple of bags. And um, we come down here with the bags. And uh, you've got, I'm going to show you now me um, sprucing the front of my plot up uh, around me, um, me, me table and my chair. So let me show you me doing that now. What? Right, I'm gonna come and I need to get past you because we've got to come and do this here. Well, guys, uh, like I say, I thought we'd strike by the iron's hot. Now it looks a bit miserable around here. Yeah, it does. Anyway, I've just been up to the top and uh, just got some wood chip, some really good stuff there. And I thought what we'd do. We'll do all along here, around the, where we normally walk. This is the seating area. I thought I'd spruce it up. And uh, that's what I'm going to do. Hopefully she'll keep out of the way. I'll show me doing a bit of it. I'm going to throw some underneath the um, the chair there as well. Just to... Got to throw every, take everything from underneath the chair as well, so I can throw some wood chip underneath that. Uh, like I say, all around here. When it's done, it'll look absolutely fantastic. And uh, thankfully, that 40 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, not Fahrenheit, centigrade, what we had, has uh, now changed to a little bit of drizzle, and it's a lot cooler. So I thought we'd get stuck into it. Let's hope she keeps out the way. Right, anyway, I'm going to move all this stuff what's underneath the chair first, then we can throw some wood chip underneath there. Right, be right back, folks. So, let's get the wood chip.
Right, what I need to do is get my scraper so I can let spread it out a bit. Here we are, just getting some of this uh, really good wood chip, and uh, just filling me me bag up. And uh, I don't think we need a full bag. Like I say, we've already put a bag down there um, around where with my seating area. But <laughs> I think we will get another bag, fill it up to the top. So uh, yeah, I'm going to crack on here and uh, get some of this lovely stuff here. Cost you a fortune this in B&Q and Wix for a small bag of it and uh, probably I've just got I end up with about 10 of these bags two of them full to the top anyway we'll be right back so we've got another bag of this uh, wood chip um, I say it's pretty good stuff that so it should last a while the trick is when you when you got this on your wheel battle, you want to try and get that weight over that wheel. It makes it so easy to lift the wheel barrel. You don't even feel the weight when you're pushing it. So always try and get your weight further forward if you can. Um, if you can get it balanced on the wheel, you simply will not feel the weight. That bag's very heavy. But with it being on the just over the wheel, it makes it damn sight easy to push. Anyway, we'll get this up there and we'll finish the, the, the job off what we, what we started. Well, you've been a pain, but at least you kept out the way for me to do this. And uh, as you can see, we've put about five inches of wood chip on here, really piled it in. I took the tray up there and put through about three inches of wood chip there. The reason why we do it is it suppresses all the weeds. And uh, this is the seating area, this is where I like to sit and spend my time. So I want it looking nice. Um, at the moment, my table's been taken over from water for, for Buttercup because she keeps drinking all the bloody water out of every everywhere on the allotments. I prefer her to drink it out of clean drinking, clean drinking water. It's actually just started um, to spit. It's a very fine rain coming down. Anyway, I've just managed to get this done. And the last thing I want to do is um, get caught in the rain. So you, I don't, you can't really see it, but it's so fine um, underneath the brolier, so it's not really, I'm not really worried. But we just got it all finished. Um, time it must be about six o'clock in the evening now, uh, half six. So it's half six. But yeah, two big bags of uh, wood chip to do this, and uh, nice and thick. See, this is what we got. What? And no. She's waiting for me to sit down, and she can sit on me. I know it's that exactly what she's waiting for. I think I'll have to sit down here for ten minutes and just chill, and then. Uh, Took her into bed, she's already got her food. I've watered the greenhouses, don't need to water it outside because it's been raining. Who would have believed it? 40 degrees Celsius we've had here this week. New record for Salford. But then again, it was a new record for everybody, wasn't it? Anyway, 
last last look at this. What do you reckon? Eh? Well Yeah, it's good isn't it? <laughs> She's probably figuring out where all the um the feathers have gone. Alright anyway I'll leave you with her. Yeah, it's goodbye, she says. So it's looking really nice. It's nice and uh, bright, and I thought, I think we. Need, I was looked at me my paths, and I can't see my paths on just behind me here. They're all covered with um, with gooseberry bushes, uh, branches, and raspberry branches all over everywhere, and, and you got the calendula. You couldn't even see down. You couldn't even see the paths. There was that that overgrown with um, all the raspberries uh, the gooseberries and uh, the currants so I got my pruning shears out I couldn't do any filming because there's um, in the, the background there's a load of music playing um, on soap and keys there's some sort of thing going on over there and you could literally hear the, the music they were playing dead clear and this camera would have picked it up so I had no choice but to just do, do tidy the, the paths up what we did though, the night before we went up and got five sacks of this um, wood chip. So you can see where we're going, we're going to t we, we, we do all the pruning. You're going to see me putting a bit of wood chip down, um, not much because like I say we was having to play around the, the music and um, well I'll show you what it looks like and I'll show you what it looked like after we've done it. So this is me getting to grips with the front of my plot. Well guys, I've got uh, three bags of wood chip there. This is for the paths. Um, what I've got to do, I've got to tidy all the paths up here and we'll put wood chip down them. So all this lot's got to be tidied up. So this is going to be an horrible job to do. Same here, I've got to tidy getting here because the path's been covered up by this tree. I need to pull this tree over. But what I can do is get the wood chip down and then tidy this lot up according. But, uh, there's my path and it's like I say, it's overgrown. Um, so we've got three bags here of this stuff, what you see on the floor. We did this yesterday. And uh, like I say, we'll come through here. It's a fair way to get that bloody wood chip up there. But uh, I think we've got the best of it anyway. But, uh, yeah, we've got to go down here, wood chip all along here. Um, here's two more bags. I've got to do the path, so I'm going to be coming in with my pruning shears. I'm going to prune everything back. A lot of this is laden over with fruit, so I'm going to have to do a bit of pruning here. This bed needs tidying up. So, over the next week, um, I'm going to be cleaning the front of the plot up it gets so overgrown so fast it's unbelievable um none of this is weed it's all bloody plants these are all gooseberries like i say this is all flowers this is all um currants again all these what are hanging over are all currants um i take the tops off the lilies that's going to be a trip up to cobden street tip um the calendula well, what I'm, what I'm waiting for is for it to self-seed and then uh, what we'll do is we'll clear the rest of it up. I will take some seed, that's that stuff over there. It looks a bit messy at the moment, but then again, it's, it's just what it is. And it'll probably take me about seven days to do it, but uh, I've got the, the wood chip here to do the paths. And uh, when we're done, it looked really nice but right this moment I'm gonna knock it on the head I think what we'll do we'll start off here on this side first doing these these paths there we'll get these done then we'll go and work his way over on the other side I've got to lift some take some of that rhubarb up there that dead rhubarb tidy that up do a bit of pruning on the path get me pruning shears and uh, it should be look, it'll look fine in no time. But 
you know, it's that time of year when everything's going really, really fast. Right. Yeah, she's there, if you're wondering where she is. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, we'll come back to this tomorrow and we'll start to tidy things up. I'll start to look a little bit tidier tomorrow and over the, the week, this will look reasonable. Hi guys, so a bit earlier I did a bit of pruning. I didn't record it unfortunately, but I pruned the, the gooseberries back here and tidied up some of this uh, path. I started here but on them, them bushes there you got a load of white currants all on the bushes and red currants there so I've not cut them however I'm going to try and get some wood chip in there along the back along here and down this path here and um, well the wood chips there in the bags I'm going to go and get me, me shovel and I've got this rake thing which we're going to be sort of spreading it we only have to put about half an inch an inch on it just to tidy the the front of the plot up then i can get down on my hands and knees and start tidying around the beds uh, once i've put something on the path to tidy the paths up so um i'm gonna leave the camera rolling for a second or two just to show you what i'm doing um and we'll we'll come back and have a look when we've done it Later, I've just seen Buttercup go past the top up there then. Oh, God. Hope she keeps out the way. But right now, uh, we're going to put some wood chip on the paths. Well, guys, uh, the intentions I've got is putting some wood chip down these paths here. Along here, along there, and down this side. Now, we've we've pruned this back earlier uh, so we could get uh, the down the path. I was going to do the same there, but there's a load of red currants and white currants on there, so we've got to be careful. But I can still put the um, get the the wood chip on the path. So it's very windy, and um, at the moment, um, I don't know whether to leave the camera recording. There is music playing in the background as well at times, so I might have to just put it on pause. But uh, as you can see what the what we're going to do we've got two bags here and we've got another three bags over the other side we've got more than enough to do the job i think so i'm just going to spread the love i'll show you when we're doing a tiny bit of it and then i'll i'll show you when it's all done okay so here we go you keep out the way buttercup So you get the picture that's what we're doing so i'm not going to bore you to death we will be back when i finished getting this uh, path done here and we'll have another look and then we can start thinking about tidying all the bloody beds up so as you can see we've done this side and i've got to do the other side I've got three bags, I don't really need three bags, but we are going to put it on pretty thick. Um, anyway, I'm going to have to go back to showing you afterwards because I've got music playing in the background, unfortunately. And it's really, really depressing that I can't show you me actually doing this. So you probably can't see the path here. Uh, what I'm going to do is just trim some of this calendula back. It's all gone over now. I'm just waiting for it to set seed in the bed and then I'm going to pull it all up. But um, yeah, we're going to clear the path out so we can get the wood chip down the centre. So that's what I'm going to do next. But um, I say I've got music playing in the background. So unfortunately I can't record. But um, yeah, we'll... We'll tidy this path up and then um, we'll be right back. I'll show you me all done. So I've got my paths back now. All around the edges. Down the sides. 
I will be tidying the beds up shortly. This calendula, uh, we're just letting it go to seed in the bed. I'll just rake it, pull it up eventually. And then next year it'll come back again, like it did this year. I'm really happy about that. What I will do is take a lot of seeds from the seed heads as well. But, um, yeah, the jobs I've got to do is tidying the beds up. We've got one more bucket bag of um, wood chip there. It's a bit thin down on the path down there. So I'm, I'm going to actually put a bit more down the other side. But apart from that, all the plots looking good. We'll take you on a walk around in a minute and show you the other side. But um, we've managed to uh, get it all, all wood chips. Well, the front part anyway. The back can wait until next time. Right, anyway. I'm just going to put my me, um, me stuff away. We will get rid of that bag. I'll probably put it underneath the uh, the trees over there. But not today. Shame about the clangulas, they are gone to seed now. There's a few still coming up, so, you know, we'll get them a few more flowers out of them before they all die back. So it's, it's been long in coming that, um, I've, every time I've tried to do something, I've always got to keep getting stopped and um, having to do this, that and the other. We're, at the moment, we're trying to get the um, solar panels, the brackets made, so I made some of them brackets. I'm not, I said I did them off camera because it was too, too messy, fiddly. Um, to be showing you and I wanted to concentrate so I, I built the brackets and I went and got um, some some pine pins to put the the, the, the uh, wires through so we can have electric um, coming from one unit into another and then the shop we're having more solar panels on the shop so I, I've been doing stuff like that through the week and on top of everything else and I've been helping everyone else out so I've not really been able to to do my plot, my plot suffers every time I do that. So um, yeah, I told them all to sod off and let me get me plot tidies, which she did. So um, yeah, we did all right. We, we've I know I can get down on my hands and knees now and tidy the beds. So I think we only got five beds to tidy up on the front, it's, and um, I won't be getting covered in muck. Whereas before I put the wood chip down, it was um, it, I would have been covered in all sorts of stuff. So. Yeah, the paths are all been re-chipped and um, it looks quite nice. The rhubarb bed has is, is been cleaned and the gooseberries have all been cleaned. I didn't cut the uh, raspberries back because they're full of, not raspberries, the, the currants, because the currants have hundreds of white and red currants there. So we need to collect them then I can give them a bit of a prune as well and tidy up. But that's for another, another day. Um, I say you're probably interested to know what was uh, in that tin when I come round in the, the first clip and uh, well let me show you. Well guys the very last stall had just come on, I was just coming off and I seen this tin I thought oh what's that and I opened the tin and um, I looked at the coins, so what do you want for these mate? He said give me a fiver for the box. Well. The bill of rights there is worth a fiver. That uh, Barbados uh, dollar is solid silver. And um, these commemoratives, the big 50p's, these are proof. There's one, one or two of these. That, I think that one's the proof one. No. Um, and again, these was in there. Just stick them there for the time being. Um, these things are only worth 25 pence. They're nothing, these. This Churchill and what have you. And uh, Charles and Diana's uh, engagement. Um, again, what's this one? This is just another. It's worth about 25p. And uh, there's a few. What's that one there? A date on it, let's have a look at the date. No, they're not silver, the Cooper nickel, but uh, these are uh, florins. Um, I don't 
really, I'm not really into, uh, oh, actually, I thought that was, I haven't got my glasses so I can't tell you. Um, no, I can't see, but you might be able to see. I can't read it guys, I've not got my glasses on. Yeah, like I can say, it's just, just a load of foreign coins. But what people are tending to forget here is, forget the coins, look at the case. Squirrel confections. Paid a fiver for it, so I think I did all right. I know I've done all right because these are worth a fiver a piece anyway. These these ones what I've got here in my hand. So yeah, all right. Like I say, it was the last stall as well. And there's a plane just taking off there. Like I say, we're at City Airport today. It's uh, it's Saturday, so I thought I'd share these with you. Um, let's say if you you know. I walked all the way around the car boot, not seeing a thing, and like I say, the last stall, this was there, and um, yeah, I've got these. I'm quite I'm quite pleased with them. When I saw them, I thought, yeah, it's got to be worth a fiver. These are the big 50p's. Um, obviously, they're out of circulation now, but... Um, yeah, anyway. See you back at the allotments, guys. So yes, yeah, City Airport yesterday, come up trumps, I'm really chuffed about that. Um, some some nice coins there, fiver. The tin was worth a tenner. Um, biscuit tin, I think it was that. But um, yeah, the coins in it was all right. I think there was a Bill of Rights, um, there was a Silver Proof, there was a few, um, few commemorative um, 50p's, really nice ones. Uh, the old 50p's. And there's a pile of uh, foreign um, money. Now I don't collect the foreign stuff um, unless it's silver. And uh, every, uh, normally when I get these sort of um, boxes, I'll, I've got a big box where it's just a chest and I just throw all the coins into it. I've never really bothered with them. Um, there's nothing. Of, well, there's nothing of value to me. There's probably um, a 1933 penny in there. I wish there was. You know? But um, yeah, we did all right with that um, that first car boot. Anyway, uh, we have got a few. We have been on the car boots today as well. But I'll save that until the end of the video. I thought I'd just roll that one in for for the fun of it. And um, yeah, we've uh, we did a, a bit of a, a walk around earlier. Uh, we got as far as the back greenhouse when it started raining, so I had to go and get my brolly to continue the um, the video. So. Let me take you on a walk around the plot. You see the greenhouses and how everything is in the greenhouses and how well everything's doing. I'll be right back. After. Well, guys, we've got a northerly wind blowing. There's a lot of cloud up there. Looks really, really bad. It has been spitting raining this morning. There's Buttercup. Um, as you see on the path here, we've got a bag of um, wood chip that's going under me trees over there. I'll show you that. But uh, what we've been doing, obviously you can see we've done all this area with wood chip. All my planters there. That's got a go to the tip. Um, it's just a load of um, we uh, weeds and what have you. These are looking sorry for themselves, but then again, all that heat that we had um, didn't do them any good. This needs to, they, they, this needs to go with getting in the bin. Right, anyway. This is me, the front greenhouse. As you can see, grapes are doing well. All my grapes look beautiful. My chilies are starting to, to grow now. Some really nice chilies down there. Big, can't really get in. But if you look there, you can see big long chili, big peppers and all sorts of stuff. I just noticed. <laughs> That's me, um, me daily what lives in the greenhouse fuchsias and a few other things these these here um, are rosemary 
and uh, we put a couple of little clippings into this pot and I'm going to be transplanting these into a bigger pot these are all seedlings so we're going to have new um, rosemary plants just leave it there and I've got to not forget to water that there's buttercup um, this greenhouse again uh, loads of grapes here grapevines done well this year it's first time it's um, actually got grapes but next year will be a lot better uh, tomatoes starting to ripen I don't know if you can see any of these I'll, I'll take some of these later um, we got some really ugly ones where are you buggers Look, them things there that's, uh, these are the beef steak they, they don't look very clever um, we'll have a look at them again um, these ones these ones um, I forget what they're called now I've got it San Marino um, tomatoes again uh, not, not quite ready yet so yeah we would chip all this and uh, whew, God it's warm in that greenhouse so that there is another is some more of that the calendula um, we're going to be pulling this out but I'm going to take a lot of this seed I'm going to collect some of this seed and um, obviously all this was self seeded last year so uh, we, we wait, we're going to have, obviously we're going to let it do the same again I'm quite happy with this this bed we need to tidy up we've done the path so you can walk down them as you saw this rosemary what I'm going to do is take a few more cuttings from this and then we're going to pull this one out and we're going to plant a load more up my rose is starting to die back and so is the uh, dogwood rose over there and I said that weather really knocked them back the um, African marigolds are doing alright now I can feel it spitting here with rain some mint there these uh, I think the petunias if I'm not mistaken some day lilies there all these trees are just full of apples right it's raining again so we're going into this greenhouse now so we've got uh, California wonder there's all sorts of stuff going on in here full of flowers full of um, chilies uh, this side we've got tomatoes just just start forming now I do need to to pinch the tops out of these this is my other grape this is a different grape and it's absolute full of them absolute beautiful once once these are uh, ripe and they taste really really sweet I should have brought me bro brolly guys you can hear that rain out there look at that it's like kryptonite this that rain to me and I know I'm gonna get absolutely soaked doing this video what I do is I put the camera on pause for a second and then once it stops we'll continue um, yeah who would have believed it um, four or five days ago we had an heat wave we was an heat wave it lasted two days for God's sake uh, 39 40 degrees it got that hot it it's broken um me my thermostat in this greenhouse it was 120 odd when it broke <laughs> but um yeah i need to, to i think it's the battery that's gone on it actually a few chilies there there's no, they're just gonna have to chuck them away and no one's gonna can use them really unless we shove them outside yeah, bloody rain. Still, 
don't have to water outside that's the main thing so i don't know why i'm mithering and whimpering i should be happy that it's uh it's not raining uh, it's, it's it's raining what i think i do is put the camera on pause and go and grab me brawler that's what i'm going to do so i'll be right back give me a sec so uh, just a quick pit stop there to grab the brawler so you've seen the the back greenhouse this is lemon balm this needs a good air cut look at them dahlias there aren't they awesome Woohoo! beautiful this is my sweet corn now this is um the telly for um corn f1 hybrid there me girls up to mischief got plenty of water and food and everything they just uh yesterday uh chucked a load of um lettuce in there for them and they loved it they're having dust baths at the moment we tidied all this lot up it was all weeds everywhere so we've done that i might have a clip to show you me doing that uh there's the new roof <laughs> looking good a few onions left there but these daily these dailies are actually bit i'm six nearly six foot and these things are about oh, six and a half foot awesome. so beautiful dahlias need to dead add them ones there there's my lucifer just down there in the um jamaica dahlias that there's my misty day i'll have some misty day coming shortly um these are my beans they're ready for picking uh, i do need to tidy the cabbage uh, the collies inside there they need tidying up uh, a beautiful display of um petunias and there's all sorts of geraniums there um and again this is the apple tree full of um bramleys the ones at the back are cooking up baking up um uh, dessert apples and uh well that's the pond you can't see it but uh, trust me the frogs love it so i've left it like that and um end of year we'll tidy it all up this is me jasmine i need to give that a bit of a trim as well um we have actually got more brassicas what needs to go out there they are there's a load there i forget what we got in there um what cabbages we've got and collie and broccoli again we've got all these ones to go in this bed as well uh, the savoy this uh, red cabbage um these brussels sprouts and there's uh, that victoria celery i knew he had it i just let it was at home the celery there me um potatoes my pumpkin's starting to grow now i'm gonna have to take be careful when i take them to them there's three buckets there with that bloody jack's magic in so i'm going to take them out and then it should go on the floor then and hopefully we'll get a decent pumpkin from there we wait with bated breath i don't think i'm going to win it this year though um what's happened here is the the um, potatoes have fallen over when they get to a certain height they they lose the stability so we're just leaving them for now it's they're not doing no harm here um, I was going to say something then and I just completely forgot oh that was it there's some some um, fencing over there what we normally put in front but I've just neglected to do it uh, these are uh, the purple pointy headed cabbage there the ones in the front now the rest of them are all collies and what have you but uh, yeah these apples look really good the wasps haven't been all over them so far and um yeah the tree's looking awesome everywhere you look there's apples so the food bank's going to get lots of apples this is another rosemary there's my rhubarb uh, we did trim this uh, these gooseberry trees our bushes grafted onto tree stock we've um 
we give them a pruning that branch is coming out which is going right over the bed we're going to cut that out this year we're going to in fact we're going to take all the tops off this year this is a bed that i need to work on this is my strawberry bed uh, it's full of weeds and strawberries by the way these are cedar here and these things are all them african marigolds One of these is not quite like the others. How the hell did that tomato get in there? <laughs> I've got no idea, but there's a tomato growing in, in amongst them. But yeah, we've got to come in here and do the... Uh, this will be the next job to tidy up. As you can see, we've done all the paths. We've already tidied the, this, um, the, the rhubarb bed up. This is the bed what we've got to get to grips with. Now... I would have trimmed these back but we've got to get in here these are all my uh, white currants everywhere you look there's just hundreds of them and again you've got red currants down here it's just tons of them still a lot of uh, raspberries on there apple tree um, I reckon next year we're going to get some really awesome apples this year not so much but next year um, there is apples on there, so we'll see what they taste like when they're ready. Again, we've got more of these uh, African marigolds here. A couple more of them folding chairs there. Um, I forget what that one is there, what's in that bucket. A friend of mine, Paul, gave me that. He said, yeah, it's a going away present, that, Mark. And... Um, Chrysanthemum, I think it is. So, I think we just about covered everything. Still say that's wonky. Oh, I'm gone. I forgot. We got a few things here, it's a few geraniums, and we stuck a few um, tomatoes here as well. It's a bloody weed there. I can see a weed in the middle. We'll get that out. But these were just some tomatoes that I had. I just stuck them here. It's, oh, got look at them little cherry tomatoes there. So, anyway. There we go, folks. That's what the plot looks like. Let me know what you think of it. I do love this lobelia. Absolutely beautiful. Right, let's get under the big brolly. This bloody thing here. So uh, hopefully I haven't caught pneumonia. Um, again, this these are all the currants. We need to harvest all these as well. Right, we'll be right back. Last look. So the bank, the the the, the, the plot isn't looking too bad really. I do a lot of moaning when I. I, don't, I'm, I do like things to look nice and um, when they're not looking nice I get a bit, a bit wound up but uh, there's nothing that I can't uh, what ain't going to take me forever to do and I can put them right I mean the hardest job I found this year was putting the bloody um, the paddles on the chicken pen and it only took me half an hour to do that just got to will myself to do it really but yeah the, the greenhouses are full of um, all, all the, ch uh, the grapes are doing well especially in the front greenhouse, I'm really chuffed with them. Um, it, you've got to ask, yeah, they're, all, they, they're actually planted inside the greenhouse and they do quite well in all the greenhouses. In fact, there's four grape vines really. There's one in the front greenhouse on this side, but they're a smaller grape. And as you know, in the front, the middle greenhouse is a grape vine and in the back greenhouse is a grape vine. Um, all the chilies and peppers are doing really well. I was quite surprised to see some of the peppers have actually got really big. <laughs> I've not really been looking. Um, the back of the plot, the dailies look absolutely awesome. Um, and they're in buckets, um, you know, so I can move them about if I ever want to, but I um, absolutely love my dailies. <clears throat> and there is other dailies coming up here. You just can't see them because of all the, um, the, the currants and the raspberries at the moment. We will tidy them up and you'll get to see them a bit later on, hopefully. 
Your Lucifer looks good. Uh, it, me, um, Jasmine um, on that f fencing, that's, that looks awesome. The pond's overgrown, but then again, I like it like that. So the, the, the frogs and newts have got somewhere to go. While they're there, they're not jumping all over the bloody paths and I'm, I'm standing on them, they, they're sort of keeping that area. Um, my cabbages, which are already in, the, which we've planted so far, they're doing fantastic. There's some pointy head purple cabbage in there and there's a lot of um, um, collies in one bed. But you saw in the other two um, beds there where the, the pots are with the... Um, I think we've got off the top of my head these uh, savoy cabbage, these purple um, round dead cabbages. I forget the names of them. I, I do, it's been a while since I've looked. Uh, again, we've got um, some Brussels sprouts. And um, when I was going on about the Victoria celery in the last in the episode previous and I thought where is it well the reason why I um, I couldn't find it is because it was at home anyway and we brought it down so we need to get them planted as well so that's what we're going to be doing in the next episode hopefully along with maybe a, one of them potatoes um, the clover see how they compare to the others um, I'm trying to find that there's a potato I can't think of the name of it, it, it it's a it, it's, I think it's, it's called Goliath I, I might be wrong if they am, if someone knows the name of this particular potato, they, they get the world records from them. Um, I'm trying to find a name so I can actually get myself some. And um, next year we're going to have a, have a go at it. But if I can get the seed potatoes ordered before everyone else, I know I'm going to get some. So if you know what they are, um, they're, you grow the record um, potatoes, um, biggest potatoes from them, I think. I think they are called Goliath, I don't know. So if anyone knows what they are, leave a comment below and then I can see if we can get hold of some. <coughs> I said, I caught a chill again. I was suffering this morning on that car boot when I, when I got out. Got out. I mean, I've been up since five o'clock. Now I've got, uh, the time is now, it's seven o'clock. So I've got five hours to build the video, render it, do lots of cuts and lots of editing. Um, I've got to make sure there's no music in it because of Salford Keys. So I've got to put all that together and do a thumbnail and I'm going to try and get it up, posted up later. I've got to somehow coax Buttercup off my knee and, um, and then I can get out of here. Anyway, like I say, we've been on the car boots this morning. So let me show you the first car boot, what we bought at the first car boot. This was um, on the East Lanks car boot. It wasn't quite full because it had been raining and I thought it was going to be cancelled but they didn't, right at the last minute they said right it's on. So I went down up by chance and uh, this is what we bought. Well today we're, we're on um, East Lanks car boot. It's Sunday uh, 24th. I just bought this tin for a fiver. And inside it is around about 300 pennies. Some of them uh, young heads, um, Queen Victoria, um, bun heads. This, um, I've got this here. Sorry about the breathing, guys. I caught the uh, caught that that bit of the rain yesterday when I was doing the pass, and uh, I can't breathe. But uh, yeah, I've got a nice another Victoria there. I think that's. I can't really see the date on it. It's the dates faded but it's about i think it's about 1840 that and um even with the date partially missing it's worth 10 15 quid look at that beautiful and i'm just looking at these here and there's a few sixpences and threepences in here silver threepences oh what's the date that 1964. It's a nice coin, that considering. Uh, but yeah, um, we got all these for the final. <clears throat> Do you know what? 
just like we got them yesterday. Anyway, we're heading off up to now the Bolton car boot. But this one is the East Lanks. It's it was going to be it's going to be cancelled today. But um, is it? well, obviously they've opened it. So we pay dirt again with a, another one of them um, biscuit tins full of um, Victoria pennies and oh, there must be about four or five hundred pennies in there. And then you had um, you had the silver. Um, I think it's eighteen no, eighteen. 1838 or is it 78 I think it might have been 78 half crown solid silver that on its own was worth more than a fiver just in scrap value it's worth more than a fiver and then we had a, another bag of silver there was a load of frequencies in there silver frequencies and there was all sorts I've not really gone through them because I've like been doing things at home as well never never stop and um, but yeah that was that was that was a, a a good deal so we got we got two tins with um for the fiver each of them so we've done all right this this week um then we we ended up we went up to went up to a um, bolton car boot the reebok you'll see the reebok in the the clip but um we bought um, a coin set it's a uh, 1971 i think it is uh, off the top of me i've already got three or four of them but I do like the, the, the like um, bunk packs and pristine. And for what I pay for it, three quid. Let me show you. So I just bought this bunk set, uh, 1991. It's full of uh, all the coins. This is the Bolton car boot. There's a the Reebok. My car's over there somewhere. Now I'm going to head off up to uh, Bill Hall Park. There's a car boot up there. That's what I bought on here. Unfortunately, I'll pay three quid for that. So, yeah, we pay three quid for that. Absolutely fantastic. You bet it costs you 15 quid on eBay all the time. And then you've got your postage and packing as well. I've got about three or four sets of them. I've got lots of sets, but you can't turn them sort of things down. There was nothing else there, to be quite honest with you, but... Uh, I mean, I, I go looking for coins. That's why I go on the car boots, looking for coins. Um, I love me coins, and uh, sometimes I love me old antique fishing saddle. There was no antique fishing saddle, otherwise I would have bought that as well. But I do love me um, collecting. I've got so many different collections. Bloody harder, <laughs> harder, very very rare um, antique fishing saddle and coins amongst other things but yeah we ended up uh, there's one more car boot that i went to and it was a uh, low seed um, um, it's in weast where i live and um there was only a few cars there that when i got there however let me show you what i bought well i didn't buy any um any coins on the car boot but i just bought these two here two pound a piece bloody plant pots worth for two quid and they've got all flowers in them uh, uh, give them the missus she'll like them they just add to the the weight on all the bloody fences at home she's got it's like hanging gardens of babylon at home with all the the hanging baskets and uh yes yeah, a couple more more there to add to the weight but yeah two pound each i pay for them what a bargain now I said to the girl, I said, what do you want for them Them two hanging baskets there, love? She went, oh, two pound each. I went, what, two pound each? She went, yeah, it's a bargain, that. I, I thought to myself in my head, yeah, it's a bargain. So she must have thought, oh, well, what to get them for less? I said, yeah, there's your four quid, thanks, sweetheart. So, yeah, ended up, I, before I come on here earlier, I dropped them off at home, put a little card there, say, yeah, sweetheart find somewhere to put them in your garden your hanging gardens of babylon she's got hundreds of these bloody thing hanging baskets all the way around the the, the walls of the garden and um yeah she's got two more now so we'll find out what she thinks of them like i say she was in bed when i got back with them um it was 
she, she's having a lie-in. She's normally up at seven o'clock. It was nine o'clock when we got back, but um, yeah, she's uh, she'd be happy with them co them coins. So anyway, like I say, now it's like uh, ten to seven, so or ten past seven in the evening. So I'm gonna get off and try and get this video up a bit later. But yeah, we've. Uh, We've tidied up the front part of the plot. We will be working more into these beds as we go along. Right, it's, it's that time of year where um, y you're just laying back and watching things grow. But I'm going to be sowing some seeds as well shortly um, and getting a few more things in. So that's what I'm doing next week. I'll keep you up to date next week. <coughs> I've got to get this little character off my legs now. She's keeping that leg warm. I mean, I've, I've torn my knee um, joint. I'm walking around on me, ob obbling around on my stick at the moment. But she's actually keeping it warm as we speak. I don't really want to, I can't just strap her to my leg and take her home. She's a little peach. She bugger though. Caught her on that shed the other day. What's she like, eh? Uh, Anyway, that's where we're going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bit of a mishmash of things, but um, it's that time of year. I just cannot believe um, all the kerfuffle over this um, two days of sunshine. I thought that the world was going to end. Unbelievable. If. Uh, if, 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 it was, if we had a week like that every week, I could live with that. For the other five days, what we've had here, it's not stopped bloody raining. Uh, everywhere else is an heat wave here in Salford. It's, um, it's not stopped raining. Hey ho. Anyway, bye for now. I think we'll cut that bit out, eh, Buttercup? Eh? Yeah. You don't really want to watch that, do we? Eh? Eh? No. Hey, how are you? You had your dinner, hey? You had your dinner. Yeah. Right, do you want to get up? And then I can... Go and get this video edited. Sweetheart, come on, off me knee. Right, go on. Come on then. Go and get your dinner. Go and get your, go and get your dinner. Go on. Go get your dinner. That's it. Good girl. So we got rid of her. Let's get out of here before she changes before she looks back. <laughs>